Damn, can you hear that? It's the birds, man. Look at that tree as well. This is my favorite tree. This view is just absolutely amazing. I love being in nature, man. Just sit down here for a while. Just enjoy the scenery around you. I hope you've been doing good. I hope things have been okay and productive. But maybe things haven't been so great. Things haven't been okay. Maybe you're going through a breakup right now, or maybe you've never actually even fallen in love and been in a relationship. And you want to. All your friends are getting into relationships and you want to. That or you're going through something really sucky and that is a breakup. If you're just trying to get back out there, I want to teach you how to fall in love again. And it's a lot more simple than you think. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. See, one of your biggest fears that you're probably dealing with right now is the fear of rejection. Just going up and talking to that crush. You're, you're scared you'll be rejected. Asking that girl out, that dream crush that you're always daydreaming about. You're scared of rejection. But what I'm about to teach you can basically make it feel like rejection isn't that big a deal. I want to tell you a story that something that happened literally a week ago, which might be something that you relate to. The regret versus rejection story. See, I work at a coffee shop and then there was this there was this lady who came in around similar age to me. And she sat down and was the most stunning person I've ever seen. That's not even an exaggeration. Like she was perfect, she was my type. And she sat down and there was no vape or phone or technology in sight. She literally sat down with a coffee and just read a book. And she stayed there for quite a few hours. She just stayed there and read her book. She was nice, polite, kind, and the thing is, I was wondering whether I should have gone to her and asked her out. But I didn't, I came up with excuses for myself. Oh, I'm at work, I'd probably get fired, which I wouldn't have. Oh, she's reading, she's busy, I'd best let her be. Oh, I'm busy. I just kept making excuses and excuses, and then after a few hours when she actually left and she said goodbye, I didn't say anything and she just kind of walked away. This sounds like a movie. After that, the amount of regret that I felt was much, much worse. Oh, should I have gone talk to her? No, oh, I should have gone talk to her. I started thinking about that way more. You see, if I went to her and asked her out, and she said no, she would have forgot about it in 10 minutes. I would have forgotten about it in 30. Whereas regret when I didn't talk to her. I'm telling you a story from a week ago. It's something I still remember now. Regret is much much more painful than rejection. And the thing is, if you're you're on self-improvement, you've got the mindset that you want to meet basically a long-term relationship. You want to have a long-term relationship where that woman is literally going to be the mother of your child. If you want something like that, it's not going to be from texting or like literally looking at like Tinder girls who their bio is like, go out and they want a party. Like, that's not going to be the woman of your dreams. That's not going to be the mother of your child. Some degenerate who wants to go out party and is addicted to vapes. You want that to be the mother of your child? Probably not. The person that's going to be your wife is going to be like that scenario. That some person who's out there in real life sat in a coffee shop in the supermarket. And the only way you're actually going to be able to actually meet her and get in a relationship is actually by going out and talking. And rejection builds experience. You see, if you've got the guy who's only been rejected twice, and he's scared of rejection compared to the guy who's been rejected over 500 times, he's not scared. But when he first started, yeah, yeah, he was. But he kept going out. And after he was rejected 500 times, he knows what it feels like. And he knows it's not actually that bad. Maybe right now you've not been rejected that many times. You've maybe only, maybe only been rejected like three or four times. But the guy who was rejected 500 times... He's probably gone out with a lot more girls than you have because he actually went out there and asked. So now to the actual talking bit. Maybe that's your biggest fear. The actual just talking. <laughs> I'm afraid of people. I'm gonna go through a three step plan which you can do which is literally gonna get you up and talking to that crush across the room. The first one is courage. Look, you will have a giant set of fear, nervousness. Since cold approaching, it's not a thing that you do where you approach a girl that's a complete stranger or that girl who's your crush in school. Something that you don't do. It's gonna be awkward, and you're gonna have a lot of fear, but 
that doesn't stop you from doing the action. You can still do the action while scared. You literally just have to take a giant deep breath through your nose to your stomach and just say, fuck it, and just get up and walk. You can still do the action while scared. And once you actually get up and walk and you just kind of say, fuck it, what's, what's the worst that can happen? You go out to her, you actually talk. The most important thing is to be upfront and honest. Look, if you start planning what you're going to say and start thinking about what you're going to say before you even get up to her, one, you won't get up to her and you won't actually walk to her. And two, if you do and you have all this planned stuff to say, it feels like you're forcing a conversation, that you're acting almost. It's not, one, it's not attractive and it's not comfortable. It doesn't really build that connection. She feels like she's talking to an actor, someone who's acting, who's forced a conversation, who doesn't really want to be there. If you're honest and upfront and actually authentic, authenticity connects, whereas planning what you're going to say doesn't. It also allows the conversation to flow a lot more smoother and a lot more comfortable when you just say whatever comes to your head. Literally, just say whatever comes to your head without thinking about it. And then the third one, teaser. This sounds a bit like slightly stranger, but just teaser a little bit because chances are not many guys will. A lot of guys will suck up and since it's the first time that they're talking to their dream crush or like cold approaching or talking to a woman, they're going to be really sucking up. They're going to be awkward and try and compliment her a bunch. Don't just do that. Tease her a little bit. Not to the point where you're insulting her, but just tease her a little bit. This avoids dryness. It avoids those interview questions like, oh, what did you do today? Oh, why are you here? Oh, well, that's a nice outfit you're wearing. Like, it's as it avoids those interview questions, and it actually makes it a little bit more fun. And if you're a little bit more fun, and you've got that little bit of playfulness, you'll be way more, way more attractive than a guy who's like an actor who's awkward and uncomfortable and looks like he's forcing a conversation. Look, I think the biggest advice is literally the biggest tip that helped me during when I was doing this myself, because I used to go out on like to the like to a coffee shop for the sole purpose of just talking to women that sounds really weird but i did it to build up my confidence to talking to women and the biggest advice that's helped me is literally just taking a giant breath in and just saying fuck it and walk without thinking about anything just walk that has been the biggest bit of advice and even if you fumble she's gonna forget about it in 10 minutes and so will i if you like this video and you actually do this and this video helps you out Click on the one in the corner because this could most definitely change your life as well. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, self-improvement kiss.